Hello everyone, I'm Zach and welcome back to another hit film tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to create the title effect from the Avengers Endgame trailers. Now before I get started, keep in mind that there are a lot of steps in creating the finished result, so I will be typing in exact values for many of the different settings. Don't just copy my numbers exactly. My project settings are 1920 by 1080 resolution at 24 frames per second. If you are using a different resolution or frame rate, Many of the values I use will not look the same for you. Play around with the different settings and make it your own. Start by creating a new composite shot. Add a new plane layer and make the color black. Add the 360 fractal noise effect. Choose energy for the type. Change the scale, sublevels, exposure, and offset to get the desired look. Now add a hue colorize effect. Choose the magenta preset and change the hue shift to get a more purple color. Also add a slight blur effect. Now create a new composite shot. This will be the main comp where all of the layers will come together. Drag in the fractal background comp from before and add a 360 viewer effect. Also add a zoom blur as well as some slight vignettes to darken the corners. Once you are happy with your background, create a new composite shot that is 4K resolution. This comp will hold the texture for the Avengers logo. It needs to be high res so that the 3D camera can get close to the logo with it still looking detailed. If you have an image file you would like to use as the stone texture, drag that in. I will generate my texture inside of HitFilm. Create a new plane layer and add fractal noise. Choose the green marble preset and change the colors to be different shades of gray. Add another fractal noise effect. Change the scale, sublevels, and color to get a different texture. Change the blend mode to multiply. To finish off the texture, duplicate the fractal noise effect multiple times and change the settings to create what looks like stone. Back in the main comp, drag in the texture you just created. Add the BCC extruded text effect. Click Open UI and type in your text. Choose the font of Vengeance Heroic Avenger. Make the font size fairly large and adjust the skew to make the letter on less of an angle. Add in a new camera layer and enable Use Comp Camera in the Bore settings. Also enable Use Comp Lights. In the Material settings, set the texture layer to Source. All of the Bore's effects come with built-in textures, but by creating it yourself, you can get much higher resolutions. Do the same for the bump map layer and increase the bump amount. Depending on your texture, the bump map might give your logo some more interaction with the lights. Adjust the different material settings to get a stone-like appearance. You may want to come back to these after the lighting is set up. Move the logo and change the scale to position it in the center of the frame. And now for the fun part, shattering the logo. Enable the shatter deformer and go into the settings. There are a lot of controls to change, but here are the most important ones for this effect. Change the shatter type to crack points and choose outward for the velocity mode. Set gravity to zero and change the keep threshold until you are happy with how much the logo is and isn't shattered. Also set the spin speed to zero. Choose Manual for the Time Mode. At the start of the shot, enable keyframing and set Manual Time to 1. At the end of the shot, change the Manual Time so that the logo is almost repaired.
create a new point layer and make it 3D. Align the camera to this point in its layer properties. Go to the last frame of the shot and enable keyframing on the camera's position and Z rotation, as well as the point layer's position. Back on the first frame, move and rotate the camera to the desired angle. Also move the point if the camera isn't quite pointing where you'd like. In the value graph, change the keyframes to manual bezier and make it so the animation ends slowly. Add a new light layer and rename it to keep track of it. Change the light's position to be in front of and to the side of the logo. Choose Curve for the falloff and increase the reach so the light affects the logo more strongly at the edge closest to the light. Around 5 seconds in, keyframe the intensity at 100%. Set it to 0 around 12 seconds. Duplicate this light and change the color to be slightly blue. Adjust the reach so it lights mostly just the top of the logo. Position it above the logo and in the center instead of off to the side. Reverse the keyframes on the intensity so this light fades in instead of fading out. Tidy up the comp by trimming the light layers to exist only when they need to. If the lights aren't affecting the logo enough, try adding a curves effect to add more contrast. You could also change the material settings for the logo again. Make a new 3D point layer. Also drag in the 1920 by 1080 plane from before. Change the layer's blend mode to add and put the layer under the logo layer. Add the light flares effect to the plane. Choose sun glare for the flare type and center the hotspot on the new point. Increase the intensity and scale so the flare fills in the area behind the logo. Change the hue shift and saturation to achieve the desired color. Completely lower the brightness for the rays and other elements to get rid of them. Add a strong blur effect after the flare to smooth it out. Create a new grade layer and add the gleam effect. Use the same point you used for the flare as the position for the gleam. Adjust the ray length and set the minimum value to a very small number. Enable Colorize and set it to be a nice blue color. After a quick and sped up RAM preview, here's what this shot is looking like so far. And that is how you create the background for the endgame trailer title effect. 
There are many more parts to this effect, so stay tuned for future videos on how to complete the rest of the steps. Feel free to leave a comment with any requests for future videos, and subscribe for more HitFilm tutorials.